Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing my nails today and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm not too sure of the specifics, but we're going to make it happen. I use my right hand predominantly, so the right hand is going to be a bit more of a struggle. Everything I have will be linked down below. Does this look messy? I think this looks messy, but I don't have a lot of space, so... I gotta work with what I got. Everything, literally every single thing, except for these nail clippers. I've had these forever. I don't know where these came from. I think Walmart probably. I am using the drill to shot to to get off the shine of my nails. I've never used a drill. This is my first time doing my own acrylic nails. Or maybe not my first, but like if, if I did it before, it was like high school, maybe middle school, and I wasn't taking it serious. I did a lot wrong, so something ooh, like that. That drill got a little bit hot, but that's something I just wouldn't know until I'm physically doing it. I use these nail tips. I dislike them a lot, but since I have them, I'm just going to use them. I wish they were flat. I thought they were flat, but yeah, I just didn't do enough reading on that one. And the glue I'm using is also a dislike. It was very stringy, but I'm going to do a full review on everything on this nail video in the upcoming video. So a little bit of backstory on why I'm doing my nails on my own. I am a licensed cosmetologist. I've been licensed for going on nine years. I really do love everything beauty. I started doing nails as a nail tech a few years ago, but I was doing simple basic manicures. I never learned how to do acrylics, never really thought to learn. Um, fast forward, you know, going to the nail shop every two weeks, sometimes twice in a day because I didn't like the way that the last person did my nails. I go to the next one, hey, can you take this off? Or I go home and soak them off and go to somewhere else the next day. It was becoming expensive, tedious. I was tired of complaining. I am a quick learner. So I was like, why am I complaining when I could just learn? And also, I like my nails to be short, simple, basic. Like, I'm really plain. So it should be simple for me to learn how to do exactly what I like since it's not much anyway. <laughs> it's much harder finding a good short nail tech than it is a long. I have two good long nail techs, but... They fill up so quickly. It's a lot that goes with it, especially the ones who are, you know, trying to build their following on Instagram. Their books open at the beginning of the month. You know the tango. Great for them, happy for them, but for the customer, it's not that great. So, yeah, here we are. I don't think I know enough to do all of that. It's just way too much real estate. So, I'm going to go shorter. And if I do good this time, then next time I can go on. Um, I did a lot of talking throughout this video, but I had to cut it because this video is five hours long. That's why it's taking me so long to get it up. It's been two or three weeks now. Anywho. Once my nails are on, I cut them down. I'm actually going to cut them down again. And the reason I, I wanted to leave them this length, but I cut them, I did one by accident. So I had to go in and do the rest. But I was actually kind of happy because the monomer, the amount of monomer that I had wouldn't have been able to do the length of these nails. And with me being a beginner, I was wasting a lot of it. So yeah, it just wasn't going to work out. It was so much easier to file this hand. Then this hand. I don't even think this one over here is to my liking. I don't think so. This finger isn't. This one's okay. But the left looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill. I'm using the drill to flatten out the fake nail to my real nail so it's a little bit more flawless. Uh, the extra, the Mia Secret Extra Bond Primer, I believe. 
I like this. Usually the primer, especially the ones that the nail, the long nail techs use burn. This one didn't burn at all. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but I like it. Next, I have the Mia Secret Clear Acrylic Powder, and it's a little baby one, and I have the Mia Secret Liquid Monomer. Now, this stuff is super strong, so I'm going to have to open the window, but I have some of the monomer in here, and then I have some of the powder in here already, so that I don't have to... So that I don't have to keep going back and forth. I'm gonna make a little Ariel. I'm gonna make a little bit of space and then we're gonna get into applying the acrylic. I didn't realize until I was filming that everything is white, so it's a little hard to see. I'll definitely do better next time. I really do enjoy learning how to apply the acrylic and doing it. It feels really relaxing learning the ratio from the powder to the liquid even though i don't fully know like just practicing i like it and i'm using a size 14 brush i wanted to start bigger so that small wouldn't be as difficult um just like driving a car to me i figure if you're gonna learn how to drive a car I might as well learn big so small will be easier I really enjoyed doing it, um, the whole process. Besides the smell of the monomer, the rest of it was very satisfying. In hair school, you don't learn how to do nails, um, acrylic nails. You just learn the safety, the protocol, the different types of the nail, you know, the professional scientific words, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I didn't go to school. I didn't go to hair school to learn how to do nails anyway. Um, they do have just solely nail schools, but I wanted to be able to do hair. Uh, I've used every part of my cosmetology lessons except for Barbara, but when I learn how to cut men's hair, then I'm going to be doing that too. I feel like YouTube University gets a bad rap and people like to laugh it off, but YouTube has taught me so much and I feel the most happy when I'm learning new things. I, I just, I love helping people once I learn new things and I don't think you should laugh at it. If you want to learn how to do nails, there's so many videos on YouTube, obviously the same one, but eventually I'm gonna have it for you. Okay, so what I'm noticing is that this dish sucks because I want to be able to like dip in and then wipe off the back, but it's so shallow that I'm not able to do that. So that sucks because I really want to like wipe back. I think it would be easier for me to put it on someone else. And that's another thing. I know my finger should be running down so that all the liquid can run down, but since I'm doing the video, it's hard for me to do my hand like this. So I need my hands to be like this. Once I was done, this is how they were looking. And it's not bad, it's not terrible. It doesn't look terrible. Feels terrible. The left, I mean the right hand is, is awful. Um, it was very hard. Look at the look at that ring finger. Is that the ring? Finger? Yeah, that's the ring. Finger. Oh my gosh! But the left hand, I wasn't mad at the left hand for the first time. I it was okay. So let's move along. had to file a lot and that's how the nails ended up being short I cut one a little bit too low I was trying to even it out and yeah that's what happened so that's how they got short 
the nail polish i think that's amily yeah i got a lot to say about the nail polish as well and the light so that'll be in the video coming up the whole process or the whole thought behind this was to stop complaining about other people doing my nails or not doing my nails the way i like and just do it myself and if i can't do any better at least i don't have anyone to be mad at by myself and i'm not really wasting money because i could buy all this stuff at one time and do my nails multiple times you know <laughs> So fast, baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I saw much time looping in the blurry lights I have on some lotion and I have cuticle oil around, you know, my cuticle area. It's actually grapeseed oil, but yeah. I really like how they came out. The left hand. I'm actually really proud of myself and I'm excited to do it again. Go longer, learn how to do some designs because I really suck at designs, but yes my right hand was definitely a struggle and i still have some lumps and some bumps and this nail actually i took that really short that was on accident but you know first time beginner i've never done a full set of acrylics on myself or anyone else i watch the videos copy what i see them do on me at the nail shop and this is the outcome if you want to see more nail videos hey let me know but until then, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video.